Hi guys, hi all of you wonderful viewers out there. I'm just listening to the music. It's like <laughs> some of the people, our cameramen are dancing in the background. I think I'll probably change it, but it could grow on you. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, we'll have to see. Listen, um, we have Kat Kerr with us again. Thank you for all your emails. Um, what I did today, the team got the questions yesterday. I went through all the 54 um, pages of emails we had and you had some amazing questions. So I'm going to be, when Kat sits here in just a minute, we're going to, before she, she preaches and teaches us about the soul, we're going to ask her some really interesting questions that I know a lot of you still wanted answers as well. But I have to do this now, okay? I, I have been, I have to do this, all right? <sighs> I have to, I have to sort of, it's like an appeal. You know me, I hate doing money appeals and things like this, so I'm gonna get it over quickly, okay? And please, those of you who don't like asking for money, okay, please don't be cross with me, especially any of you who are from the UK, okay? I understand, I'm British, I understand. But I just, what, what our team, our financial team wanted me as I'm here to ask you is, is firstly to say a huge, huge thank you, and this is from all of us, for all of you who gave during Bi Revival Alert, but they have said, if you have not given, would you consider giving a Christmas gift? Without you, we cannot continue to produce amazing content for our wonderful viewers around the world. And I just wanted to just share with you, while we've been in Jerusalem, guys, we've, it's been amazing. Before we um, came and prepped for our production here, with our production team, um, we had, you know, most of our department heads all together here in Jerusalem, and I sat with them um, as 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 head of now God TV, and we we have done, you know, under under the Lord's leading, we're so excited because we have cut what we did um, in the last few months. We have cut, um, you know, any extraneous projects that we felt that the Lord's anointing wasn't on. We just cut anything that we were doing that we felt that at this moment of time wasn't just, you know, producing fruits. We've cut that. And then we prayed and we really prayed and we asked the Lord, Father, please just clean up God TV, clean up, we've, you know, forgive us for any um, mistakes. And, um, uh, and, and God has been just amazing. We have stabilized, we have consolidated um, our financial situation. Um, three months ago, we were probably in one of the um, worst deficits that we have ever been in. And by April, it looks as though we will absolutely break even. So we are so grateful to you. And especially, you know, with what happened with the great turmoil that happened in God's TV, you guys are just amazing. You really are. We've even heard like from so many ministers around the world that they think that God TV viewers are just so faithful and so supportive and just so mature. And that is you, that's up to you guys. So what, what, what we're asking you for here is, it's like a stand in the gap gift. If you know, if you see, if you see not my Christmas letter, the letter before it, it's like a stand in the gap gift that uh, until April, that will get us just to April so that we can truly break even, that we can build the revival center without any debt whatsoever. So it's as the Holy Spirit leads and Father, I just thank you, Father. Father, that it's not by um, any of our motivation, Father, but it's only by you. So Holy Spirit, I just ask that if people are led to give, that you would just touch their hearts, touch their hearts right now, Father. And in the next few days, just Father, if you, if you, if, if you want them and touch their hearts to give a Christmas gift, we are so grateful. All of our team, not just me, not just our um, board, not just our head of departments, but our whole team all over the world are just so grateful to you. Okay, I know I'm really bad at doing this. I'm really bad at asking for money, but I have done it. So take a look at this. 89% of homes in the world have televisions. God TV can be present in the darkest and most isolated homes on earth at the touch of a button. From the living room, there was a light on the TV and I looked and I heard this is the God channel. And I thought, well, what's that? It was coming into my living room. It broke that darkness. This is our mission field. God TV was like my uh, daily bread. Like every day I had 
you know you need somebody to interact with especially when you're lonely you know you want to speak to someone your gift of 30 pounds 50 dollars or 40 euros will broadcast the gospel message into 500 homes for a whole year i can't tell you what it's meant to me what it means to me today to be able to go to that television turn it on and always i find encouragement hope and love coming through the airways your giving enables us to reach 264 million potential homes with the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world, in every nation, in every city, on every street. Someone is waiting to hear the gospel. Guys, you're amazing. I, you know, when we look at your faces um, in some of our partner promos and, and VTs like that, it's just so wonderful to just see who you are. And well, we let's have, an, have a look at one of our other wonderful viewers called Ellie from Kansas City. And after we hear what Ellie has to say, we're going to go straight back very quickly into our prize draw for two of our angels, our fantastic angels for our God TV tour in Israel in 2015. So let's go to Ellie and then we have the prize draw straight after that. My name is Ellie Musali. I'm originally from Kalamazoo, Michigan, but currently living in Kansas City. I came out here to increase my passion for God and just, just to learn more about Him. Uh, the first time I watched God TV, I was, I was just a kid and my, I was visiting my aunt in Chicago and uh, she would tell me and my brother if we wanted to watch cartoons. We had to either finish watching the God TV program or listen to a sermon that was on God TV or watch a conference that was going on. And so I saw a conference going on and there was a miraculous he healing and a woman like got up her wheelchair and for the first time I was like really captivated by what was going on. Seeing a miracle happen on being broadcasted on television, it, it was something that I had never seen before. And, and because it was just so zoomed in and, and close up and so so like powerful like it, it it literally came there was something that came out of the screen and and actually like came into my heart and it was something that like gripped me and it was like god just saying like i'm real i can do this this is what i'm doing right now like in this moment and it was it was very captivating for me it it moved my heart just to increase my faith and the knowledge of how real god is People should watch God TV because it has so much material and it has so much ability to uplift you and the things that they're broadcasting, they speak life into whoever is watching, whether you're a child or an adult. It's, it's all things to bring us together and to build us up as a body. At the heart of it, God TV desires to see people grow and be transformed by the power in God. And that is something that is so needed in today because you, you don't see that anywhere in mainstream. It's mostly about all about us, but on God TV, it is all about Him and what He desires to see happen today. Oh, there we are. Okay, that was wonderful. Well, I am now with my wonderful son on my right. Okay, he said, excuse us to twos. We excuse them. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, I want to say, I, want, I just want to say, you've met Samantha, you've seen Sam is so amazing on television, and this is Christian, and Christian has done, you've done cameras since you were 12, haven't you? Yep. Are, are you going to say anything or not? I have done cameras since I was 12. <laughs> You're so naughty. Yeah. He has a sense of humor like my father, like his grandfather. Yeah. yeah. But I'm alive. Yeah, well, oh, okay, yes, that's true. Okay, what are we going to do tonight? What are we going to do? We're doing the Israel Tour prize draw. Okay, Israel and do, do you know when the Israel tour is? No. <laughs> oh, Christian, no, it's in you do. <laughs> I do, of course I do. Uh, yeah, but not this year, obviously, because that's no, no, gone. Next year. Next year. It's and, and, okay, and what is that? What day in November? No. I just work here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you naughty. It's our 20th anniversary yeah, for and God it's TV. On the 10th of November. It's on the 10th of November till the 17th. Of, will you be there? I'm sure you yes, will. I yeah, will as there. a cameraman, I'm sure that you I'll will be, be there. I'll be with the tour groups like I was last time. Yeah, I know. So if you come on the tour. Yeah. So you'll, you can speak to the camera. You'll yeah. have to meet me. <laughs> and we've already had, when you were on, on air yesterday, mm -hmm. some interest <laughs> from the girls, because you are just you. 
you're my handsome boy. It's true, I'm single, but I am part of this family. <laughs> oh, Christian. Okay, we're gonna do it. Are you gonna, okay, you're gonna choose. I will choose them. You choose. You read them. Okay. And we'll both put them on the table. That's a good idea. Absolutely. Okay, let's do it. Okay, okay, so you choose them and you try and, try and get right from the bottom. This is 15,000 angels of you, amazing angels. Okay, got to be angels. Mm -hmm. You're okay. ready? Yeah, okay. ready. Okay. Now, what happens if the name is drawn? Okay, if the name is drawn, yes. that person... This person in between my fingers right now. Yes, no. and I'm just saying, as the head of God TV, because I can, that if that person has a spouse, then they both get free tickets at hotels mm -hmm. to our Israel tour. Oh. And that's okay. what happens. Okay, so this is exciting. Oh, nice. Okay, it's nice. Where's it from? It's a gold angel. Oh, wow. Okay, this is Hillary. Hillary, you are a gold angel and you, you live in Paynton. I think, Graham, is that near Torquay? I think, I thought it was. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. In the United Kingdom, in the UK. Hillary, and your angel number is 471021. 471021, and that is just our delight, Hillary, to, to give that to you oh, and probably your husband. Devon. That's in Devon. Okay, so now, you got India last night. I did get you India. It? Okay, what do you think now? I don't know, I'm going to try for an Africa. Okay. Do an Africa. Okay, see, let's see what you get. Okay. Do you want to read that? You read this one I'll out. Read this you one. read this one out. UK is lucky tonight. Oh. This is Kenneth from Newport in the UK. He's okay. A angel. Okay, and what's Kenneth's uh, angel number? Four seven zero zero seven three. Okay, so read, read that out again, okay. then. Angel number four seven zero zero seven three. Kenneth from Newport in the UK. And Newport's in Wales, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> yes, yes. I dropped Wales. out of high school. You dropped out of high school. You've got your GED in America. It was all right. There we are. Okay. And Kenneth, you know what? Both Kenneth and Hillary were gold angels, so they've been just amazing. We'll go deeper. Let's see if I we get can't, some more paper cuts. We, yeah, but we can't. We've got two. We've done two. Oh, two. Do you want to do one more? Let's, oh, Let's on. do one more. Okay. We're going to do one more, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're saying, if Samantha says the whole tour is going to be free in a minute, but this is so exciting. Okay, okay, right, okay, we'll okay. this is the last one. You do this again. Let's see. Oh. oh, wow, we've got United States of America. That's wonderful. We've got Linda from New Braunfels. I don't know where that is, and Steve Bach's not here to tell us. So New Braunf Braunfels in the United States of America, Blue Angel. And Linda, your angel number is 14. 642801. 14642801. That's a fantastic. So we have Linda, Kenneth, and Hillary. And they're, you're all coming on the tour. Thank you so much. You it's so welcome. nice because you know what? You know, this boy has refused to be on television since he was about, like, since he was 12. So I a really, decade of... A decade of non being on television. That's right. So I really appreciate you being here. You're more than welcome. Thank you, my... That's what I'm here for. My darling son, you're so gorgeous. Okay, yeah, you can go now. Okay, yeah. And now we're going to go straight to worship. Pablo is with us. We're so thankful that Pablo is with us. He's going to be singing Worthy is the Lamb. So let's all just join in worship to the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for cross the Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. But in all my sin and sin,
So beautiful, Kat, isn't it? So wonderful to have you. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, it is beautiful. worship. I know. It is. I know. I know. Yes. It's hard to go into questions after that. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Is there anything you want to share now from your heart? I just really encourage people if you do not play music like this in your home, Please do it. It really draws heaven. It draws his presence. You know, it's a really good way to start opening your home up to heaven for a habitation because worship is um, a big part of heaven and it delights the Father. It draws his heart to you. He inhabits the praises of his people. So I really do encourage believers everywhere. If you don't play anointing worship in your home, do it, especially while you're sleeping. It'll feed your soul. It'll lift up your spirit and the enemy will not be happy that you're doing it. So in all ways, it's a blessing to you and to your home, to your family. I thank God for all those who give their gift of worship to Him and to the world. Really, I don't know what we'd do without it. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. 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 Pablo, if you carry on, I will we'll not be able to read any <laughs> questions at all because I'm, I, I just go with that. Oh, yes. my gosh. Oh, Kat, thank you so much for coming. Everybody enjoyed yes. it so much. You know, if you could say enjoy it yesterday. They were so excited and they are so excited. I actually went through... Um, 54 pages of wow. viewers' questions <laughs> today, you know. Question. And we can't because you're going to minister to us today on, yes. on the soul and other things. Oh, yes. But, but I still, you know, people really would like to know some things. So let me okay. ask you. Okay, Alicia asks, can people in heaven see what's happening on earth? 
And if so, can they affect change on Earth? That's, a, that's an interesting question. That's a good question. Yeah. Um, of course they can see the Earth. The Word talks about it in Hebrews yeah. 12, 1, the great cloud of witnesses. Yeah. You know, they're watching our race down here. They're certainly declaring over all of their family members. Yes. I've been in, they have places called the portal. It's a building. They have them outside in the ground. They have them inside. Yes. And so they don't miss any special day in your life. Yeah. Every year on your birthday, they'll go there and say <coughs> happy birthday to you. They'll go get a gift in heaven and put it in your mansion that's being built. Isn't that wonderful that they don't so forget wonderful. you even though they're enjoying their life? So, yes. And they certainly do declare and decree the will of God over okay. your life. And when we come into agreement with heaven, it's powerful. Of Our course. prayer of agreement on the earth is powerful, but when you agree with what heaven is saying, yes. it, it it really even releases more power. And He okay. wants everyone to know Him, obviously. Yeah. And what I've heard them declare over their family members is, this is a good thing for you to say over your own family okay. members. Okay. If you Tell don't us. know how to pray for them that yeah. need salvation, Tell us. you declare what your family members in heaven are saying. Yeah. And I've heard them say, I declare that my family members will, will become mighty children of God. I declare they'll be free in Jesus' name. Amen. They even use His name in heaven. I declare they will not miss their destiny and they'll become the living testimony of the saving power of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. And that really is well, a powerful the prayer. End, when, we're, when we're at the <laughs> altar, you can lead us all in some yes. of these things. You can. Yes. It'll be fantastic. It's really powerful. Let me ask you then, Kat. Now, I know because everyone in heaven, they're so caught up with the Father and Jesus and with what's happening there. Do they know when their loved ones are having really hard times? I, I can you, help with that, they? really. Well, they obviously see your life at different times during your life. Yes. And they're declaring and decreeing the will of God. They're praying the Holy Ghost to consume you. Yeah. But you have to understand, when they look down to earth, they don't just see the physical realm. They see the operations of the Spirit. They okay. know the host of heaven have been sent. Yes. They know the Holy Spirit is pursuing you, working on your behalf. They know that the prayers they prayed over so you they are agree. still working. They are, yes. they agree. They are agreeing okay. with what God wants. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Destiny. Yes. And okay. I tell you, some people can actually feel their family members' prayers. I've, yes. I've heard from people saying, I knew when they were praying for me, I could smell aromas that were familiar to them, or I just feel the presence among me real strong. And I said, that's probably because they were declaring and praying over you. They that's certainly, amazing. they have an intercessory place in heaven. They where people, They certainly do. They do. They have a tower. It's like a tower of yes. intercession. Yes. And they go up there and they do warfare in the spirit. I know that sounds strange to some people, but once an intercessor, always but an intercessor. That, okay. So what what are they praying? So when they go up into that tower as an intercessor in heaven, what are they praying? They actually can choose Do weapons of warfare. It's carry amazing. No, please just this carry is on. fantastic like revelation yeah. that it's you're amazing. not left alone on this earth when they go there. It's there so are people incredible whose call has been to stand in the gap and it's their passion to do that. Yes. And yes, they're allowed to do that in heaven. There's this tower of intercession. Other people have seen it yeah. and have seen warfare going on. They'll actually go into a warfare room, yes. choose weapons of warfare, their spiritual weapons, of course. Like what? Oh, 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 things that look like natural weapons down I'm, here. I know that. They could yes. be swords. They could be a okay. like, They could be things like that. Okay. And they literally will go into the intercessory tower area and they'll do warfare on behalf and wow. actually can see what's happening on the earth as they're interceding. So oh, they wow. definitely can have so an impact. So they can see the impact. They can have the impact. They'll see people who they're praying over being taken in the spirit, in the spirit yes. from, a, from a dangerous place to a safe place, That's from amazing. a hard place to a place of liberty and freedom. So yes, heaven is absolutely for us. They are not against us. But that is so amazing because, you know, so often we just think that there's no connection, not between us and the Father, the Son, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit and the yes. angelic, but between the cloud of witnesses. There is a huge connection between between the cloud of witnesses in our That's lives. Amazing. They're very interested in what's going on. They're wow. actually excited about this time on the earth, but they want us to wake up and maybe open up to the Holy Spirit yes. so that He can let us know what God's plans are because they're all decreeing it. Yeah. Heaven is all stirred up right now about this time on the earth. That's it's amazing. a fantastic time to be alive, but they're certainly not forgetting you. That's amazing. And I must say, you know, just in the, you know, the past weeks when it was really hard at one time, I know, I've really felt Bob Jones, yes. you know, who I knew on earth, that he was there and Gwen Shaw. Yes. It was, it was very, very interesting. You mm -hmm. know, I could, you, I just knew, I just knew that they and were there. And sometimes the prophets 
will yeah. come and declare and decree over certain people that God's assigned to do something very important. That's amazing. They'll go right there to, to the parties on the beginning. They actually lean over you. It's like they're watching from up above as close as your ceiling and they'll that start declaring so the power and the life of God into you from heaven. Amen. Things can be released even by oh, even believe. by believers, family members in heaven, you know, joy and peace and, yes. and love. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, Kath, that's wonderful. Okay, all right. So um, we all, will we know stuff that happens on earth with sort of when we go to heaven concerning our family? That's from Judy. Yes. That's another, we, you've sort of answered that you question. You will. You'll, well, you'll know, number one, when they're being born again. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so they okay. can enjoy that and celebrate. They'll know when you're coming home to heaven. Those things are always guaranteed. So they'll know when to meet you at the gate. But certainly any significant event in your life, especially yes. things you're doing for God, he does not allow them to miss that. Oh, that's amazing. They're a part of celebrating with you too. That's fantastic. Okay. Then Alvin asks, does it grieve the people in heaven when they know one of their loved ones has gone to hell? How does God comfort them in heaven? And I know your answer on that, but you know. You just yes, tell Alvin, yeah. I, I can say for sure that yeah. they do love their family members, but yeah. their absolutely number one love is Jesus Christ, yes. and He's there with them. And they do understand that people have a will, Yes. but I know they do not see people being dragged into hell. That Absolutely, they don't see that from heaven. And if they know that they haven't arrived for some reason, people aren't aware of time as yes. we are on this earth here. Yeah. But the comfort and the peace of God, no one in heaven grieves. There's yeah. absolutely no grief. Yeah. No grief, no regret. Yeah. There's no condemnation in heaven, no matter what, what you've done before you got there, if, you, if you've uh, received Christ when you got there. Yeah. But only the love and joy of the Lord is in heaven. There is no grief. There yeah. is no sorrow at yeah. all in yeah. heaven. Yeah. And so He does. He is your everything, and you are consumed by His love. And yeah. I think you're so focused on Him and all the activities of heaven and declaring of what God's going to do on the earth. You, you feel different, and there's only one way you'll find that out, and that's it's when you get there. You have yeah. to be there. You just have to be there. Okay, this is, this is a very interesting question, okay? Complicated. What about people who may never have heard the gospel message and they die? Many I, people ask this, including mm -hmm. Grace from the UK. Yes. Okay. I can tell you there is hope for everyone That's because amazing. in the book of Romans it says, I make myself known to every man. Oh. He makes himself known in the heart of those. They know there is a God no matter how much they even want to try to deny him. Let me tell you, when they come yeah. close to their time of leaving, yeah. they really, I'm telling you, if you've ever been on a plane that's going down, everyone on that plane is crying out to Jesus. It just are. happens. It's something that's put that's in right. you, that God puts a knowing in you. He says, I make myself known. And he spent some time explaining that to me. He said, there are many who know that I do exist. They may not yes. know my name. They may not know who I am. He said, and so he does have ways that he can reach them, especially if people are praying over certain countries. Yes. That's why I said yesterday, prayer. He says, my house shall be called a house of prayer. And don't ever stop praying, declaring over people. They're going to know him. You know, uh, when you when you give to send people to places, you're, yeah. you're investing in people's lives and into yeah. salvation for people's lives. Yeah. And I'm so glad you mentioned about giving because I don't have a problem saying something about that. And I was actually encouraging people, make sure you give to God TV because he has a plan yeah. to use them in major ways in this move of God. And I know he's got them targeted for that and he's for them. And you're investing in heaven, you're investing in heaven when you give in, into God TV. So please That's do right. it. It's you're investing in your own future, actually. So thank you for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Kat. Kat, now, okay, so I can't, I don't know who it is, but could you ask Kat whether we live together with our families in heaven who have passed on before us? We lost two babies in the womb. Always wondered, will they be grown up when we uni are united? That was something I was hoping I somebody think that's, would And ask. that's from Gail. Yes, <laughs> Gail, she's yes. Asked, yes. Well, Gail, absolutely yes. Your children will be waiting for you. And actually, um, the age that they'll be deter is determined by you. If wonderful? you've always pictured them as children or babies, they'll remain that age. If you see them growing up a little bit more, they'll be that age. But certainly the Father knows your heart. They already know who you are. They actually love you. Uh, they fall in love with you and make sure you've named your babies. If you haven't picked out names, the father calls them from the nursery. Amazing. He'll hold them on their lap and say, your parents have named you. This is now your name. They live a life of absolute joy and wonder in heaven. I know, I've read all And they have that. places made just for them to play in they sound and incredible. have an exciting time in heaven. I mean, they actually have whole lands like Jello Land, Christmas Town. They have all kinds of places and things for them to do. They now ride in big bubbles. Some of the Brits bubbles. are going to be saying, now, nah, Kat, come on, come on. 
<laughs> but you have to understand, the father said, you must be like little children to he enter did. into the kingdom of heaven. And he would be in a lot of trouble if there weren't places to have fun. I, I have, my main commission is to share heaven so vividly that you could picture your loved ones living there or you wanting to live there. And the second half of that of commission is to show you that it is fun. And you said it fun is, is in this age, kingdom yes. age, it's fun spiritual warfare. is going to be a weapon because when you're That's having right. fun, the enemy can't reach you. He can't oh, beat no, you up. It actually bothers him very much. It's, you're having trouble. In the midst of your troubles, please stop and have fun. Yeah. And let me encourage you. The Father said this. If you haven't had fun, you can go and ask him for fun, not just to be delivered. I'll say, Father, I ask for and receive fun in my life. And I thank Amen. you for making that possible. Amen. He wants us to enjoy our life. So make sure you ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going on. Now, this is, this is a really important question, okay? This is from Annette. She says, I had an abortion before I was saved. Will I see my aborted baby in heaven? And will this baby forgive me? Well, your baby has already forgiven you. That's beautiful. Yes, when there, there's a little bit of difference when people, they, they oh. want their baby and babies are, you know, miscarried. They're all carried by their own angels, carry them to heaven because your angel is sent at the time of conception yes. and is with you the whole time you're here on this earth. But yeah. if you don't make it all the way through, yeah. then your own angel will carry you back to heaven. Jesus greets every baby, loves every on baby. every single baby. They fall in love with him. So and those beautiful. who have been aborted, he actually heals their little heart and they actually forgive those who performed the abortion, those who wanted the abortion. That's amazing. They even know the parents who didn't want it, but it was forced upon them. Yeah. But I will tell you, they forgive you. They are in love with you. They're actually declaring over you. And when you so get to heaven, I love the Father. He gives the very same baby back to you. That is and that so baby will amazing. be in love with you and you get to raise that baby. That is so amazing. Isn't that amazing? It re that is really amazing. We just amazing. can't conceive of the love of God. No, we can't. And that, okay, some controversial ones here. Okay, can married couples have sex in heaven? That's from B. Okay, number <laughs> one, your physical body is not with you. That stuff stays with the physical body. You, you love each other spiritually. It is the highest form of love. When the word said that the coming together of a husband and wife is, is symbolic, yes. it's a symbolic of a spiritual love that you have in heaven with, with the Lord. And I tell you, you don't forget that you were married, so be nice to your spouse because they will have a mansion right next door. However, I've, I've kind of explained that. There's no physical love that way at all. You don't have the desires. There's no thoughts of lust or coveting or jealousy. Anything that the flesh would normally want on this earth is gone. not in heaven. So you don't even miss it. I know that seems hard to believe, but mm -hmm. you do care very much about the one who was your spouse. Okay. You had a wonderful relationship. You do everything together all over heaven. Everybody moves in with each other when they come to heaven. They'll stay, you know, until you finally say, let's go somewhere else. And uh, I share that. It's like you're all a family. Everyone's a family and everybody loves each other, but you always have a special affection. That's the way to say it. Yes. A special affection for the one that you were the closest to. And, and so, so you will live right near each other. You get to do things together all over heaven. But not in the same, someone is asking, can husbands and wives in heaven live in the same house? But I remember you saying, because the Father's given each of us our individual Yes, gifts. and let me tell you, when you yeah. see those mansions, you will be so glad you have your own. <laughs> it's all your favorite things. It's tied to the gift it's that you amazing. love. So exciting. And so, you know what? And you don't mind, nobody minds staying with, your, with each other. There's no sleepovers or anything like that. Nobody has yeah. a bedroom that you always want. One and one made real fancy. He'll give you one, but your, your so spiritual critical. body never has to sleep. Hi, my name is Natalie and I'm from Birmingham. At the age of 16, I was walking home. A guy approached me and asked me to come into his car. He took me into his car and he raped me. I went from being bubbly and outgoing to being shy and just really in myself. At the age of 18, um, I met a guy. We began dating and um, he also sexually abused me and physically abused me. I suffered with hair loss. Um, I suffered with a lot of depression and stress. So he began to harass me. Um, call me, text me, stalk me. Had to get the police involved, had to change my number several times. And I felt like I couldn't take it anymore and I ran home 
and I cried out to God and I said, God, I need you, help me, save me. Um, I remember I had this headache, this heavy, heavy headache. And as soon as I cried out to God, I felt the peace of God rush over me and my headache went instantly. I began to go to church and I began to share my testimony with several people. People weren't that welcoming of me. Um, some people began to ostracize me and look down upon me, which really hurt. So I said, I'm, I don't want to share it anymore. I began to um, feel like maybe they're right about me. So I took upon their opinion that what they're saying is right about me. And I believe the lie of Satan and I didn't believe the word of God. I still knew that God loved me, but their words overpowered me at times. I was watching God TV and um, I seen the testimonies about um, visions from heaven. And I thought to myself, I need to get this book. I just really felt within me, I need to get this book. As soon as I got the book and it came through the post, I picked it up and I held it. And um, God said to me, you will receive healing when you read this book. I read the book in one day and it was just really amazing. Um, every answer that I could think of, of why I went through, um, what I went through in out the church and in the church was in that book. I received healing and I received comfort. As I began to read and just to really see how the father thinks towards his children, my mind, it just shifted and it wasn't like any, I didn't cry or anything, but I knew, I could feel God moving in my heart and in my mind, and I knew he was healing me, um, just to see his love for me, um, and he doesn't view me how man would look at me, but his heart towards me is love. Jesus raised his head to the onlookers in the marquee. I came to set the captive free. Jesus' tears mingled with the man's tears. Never judge nor condemn those who walk in paths you have never trodden. I came not for those who are well, but for those in need of a physician. I came to bind up the brokenhearted. I felt like I was taken up into heaven. I felt that her experiences was my experiences and I felt like I was seeing what she was writing. The Father, he knows everything about you and he loves you, he enjoys you. You are absolutely unique, but he made you unique, he created you. I told my sister about the book the next day um, and she's not saved at all. And she picked up the book and she put it down. She like she could feel the power of God. And I said, and I told her, I said, when I picked up the book, God told me that I would receive healing. And now she's reading the book and she's being blessed by the book as well. I feel like I've reclaimed my testimony back. As I said before, I wouldn't want to share my testimony. And now after reading this book, I feel that I can share my testimony. I would recommend this book, Visions from Heaven, um, because it's more than just a book that you're reading. You will hear the Father speaking to you directly, um, whether you feel discouraged, um, whether you're feeling weary in heart or mind or soul, and um, it's more than a book and you will receive healing. Kat, this is an interesting question. Are there universities and or colleges in heaven where we continue to learn about God and all that he is and about his plans for us? Yes, did you think you would escape being educated? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, please tell my son, Christian, come back. <laughs> yes. There, there are universities in heaven. That's okay. why we have them on the earth. Right. You know, like I said, this is so a what shadow of what's in heaven. What do you well, learn? there is Word University. Okay. So all those of you who don't read the Word of God, you are going to school in heaven. Okay. However, you're going to love it because the one who wrote that book in the Bible teaches you that book. Oh, that's incredible. So it's coming from a whole different viewpoint than our own interpretation. Wow. It's amazing. There's also Royal University where you will learn to rule and reign with Christ because we'll be doing that throughout eternity. <sighs> And it's fantastic. Now, let me tell you, these universities are not like ours down here. Yes. You don't sit in a hard chair inside a closed-in room. Okay. Many of them are outside. And I saw people sitting in bean bags filled with the crystal sea. And they would, if they moved, they would, they would shake it and they would start laughing and laughing. Everybody would, even the instructors, you know, they didn't care. So don't don't picture yourself in like a yeah. walled-in university here. Yeah. Um, a lot of the things that you're taught are from murals. They come alive and speak to you. You get scrolls and open the scroll, you can read see the self to you. Yes, you can see what happens. It's amazing. Oh, so that, that's amazing. Now, this is very interesting. I found this very interesting. Okay. You've stated we'll use our current gifts in heaven. 
yet so many professions will not be needed. I found this interesting. So Kat, what will medical professionals been doing? Cancer researchers, surgeons, therapists, dentists, optometrists, what will they be doing? I will tell you what they will be doing. That's a profession. That doesn't necessarily mean it is their gift. Okay. Their hobby is probably their gift. It's okay. what they do for fun. Okay. Uh, they also don't but need lawyers in heaven either. <laughs> but can I ask they don't you, need. say with cancer researchers, all right, mm -hmm. is it possible that uh, they find the cancer, the, the cure for cancer in heaven and they download it here? Surely. I will promise you that the Father's going to release five major cures and one will be cancer. I believe it. It will be non-existent on this earth. It and will be absolutely non-existent on the earth. That but is they amazing. wouldn't have to look for a cure in heaven. They would already know They would what know it, it. Of course they would. They, they would, would know, know it. it. Yes. When do you think it has he given you any timeline? I think it's going to be very soon. That's amazing. I think it's, it will <gasps> actually change this world. The of fact course, that there will be no will cancer change. will not be exist, existed on the earth. Well, that is and so there's exciting. actually going to be new fuels that are going to be given too. Yes. I might mention that a little bit yes, later. Yes, but yes. But, light but yes yeah okay <laughs> that's amazing so all these people have gifts a lot of them are golfers I know I, well lawyers especially a lot of them are golfers so they have they have a gift it's their hobby they don't okay. do that for a hobby whatever they stop to do to so relax it's different tennis, between your golfing, profession and there's your a huge gift. difference yes your gift is okay. something God gave in you to bring you joy and a passion okay. and those things are many things that won't be needed in heaven obviously so whatever okay. they look at and say what do I do for fun what do I like to do you yeah, know, if yeah. I could do all the time. Yeah. That's their gift. That's what they'll be doing in heaven. Amazing. There's a lot of golfers that'll have golf courses in heaven and you oh. can come play and they can change the shape and the elevation of all the holes. So don't think you're gonna win all the time. <laughs> it's a it's supernatural. Yeah. Okay, I wanna I wanna ask you this one about okay, from Essie in Illinois, okay. Can you talk more about homosexuality? And what happens to homosexuals that are saved but not walking with the Lord? Because I know you have a great God life has there. a great mercy for them. And and I, I do also. I actually they call me and talk to me because they know yeah. that you no know I'm not gonna judge them. They don't understand things Does in the their life. Does the father understand the, the the root? I can tell you, I will tell you where the root is from, obviously. The enemy's plan for all of us is to kill, steal, and destroy. Yeah. And he uses that. It, it's a falsehood, obviously, because yeah. we're made in the image of the Father, and that's not in His image. Yes. The enemy will twist everything he can to get people off the path, steal their destiny. And but he told me it was to stop. The Father told me it was to stop reproduction. Absolutely, you're right. That's he told right. me there's always a twofold cord for that's the enemy. What, when I was one is to steal your identity. Yes. Keep you from your destiny, and the second one is he does not want children born that's in right. this earth. He's yeah. always tried to stop it. This yeah. is a major move of God and every time yeah. something new happens on the earth, God's going to do, He always attacks the children. Yeah. And so there is freedom from that, though literally it's something that you also can lose from your soul. Yes. It's a bondage, and I know you may not believe that, but I've talked to many who've been set free, and they said their whole time they lived that lifestyle, they knew it wasn't right. Something conflicted, and let amazing. me share what God said. He said, when He put you together in your mother's womb, yes. in your soul, yes. He put your sex, he put what you would become. Yes. So it's in your makeup of your soul and there's always gonna be conflict in yes. you because he wants you to be free. He wants you to be what he, he calls you to become. But there is freedom for that and there is grace for those who have been, received Christ yes. and they, and they wanna be free from that. He's gonna he's gonna work with you to be free. And he you wants know, you, you to be You whole. know what I found really interesting, Kat, is like um, I have an amazing hairdresser here in um, Israel. And um, I hadn't realized he's, he was homo he's homosexual mm -hmm. now, but I hadn't realized he had been married for 12 years mm -hmm. and had been really um, had such a painful divorce. He'd had two children. Yes. Very talented, extremely talented yes. person. Totally, um, totally mm -hmm. um, uh, non-homosexual at mm -hmm. that time, heterosexual. Okay. And he said that the pain after he was divorced was so great that he went into drugs and other yes. stuff and then all kinds yes. of ways of sex and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And it was through trying to just dull the pain and That's alleviate, right. you see, the pain yes. that that happened to him. And that made yes. me think, my gosh, you know, the enemy pain hits them must be such when they're a, at their lowest point. He will hit them, especially right. if there's something that's been happened against with, with, with you know, the opposite sex. If you yes. had a fallout, a horribly abusive situation, yeah. the enemy will get them in that moment of weakness and draw them to the yeah. other side. That's but what you're he does. saying, and that's what you're going to teach tonight. I am going to teach tonight how to be free from all of that. That's if you incredible. really, anything it is in you that you don't want there, that you're that you're fighting or bondage that you're in that you no longer want, you can be free 
immediately from it by losing it from yourself. That is, a, that is incredible. Okay, so you know we're gonna, I know we have, have many more questions, but yes. you know what, it's time for you to preach. So <laughs> Pablo, can we have a, a song? We're gonna do It Is Well With Your Soul. Yes, that's good. And we're good. gonna set Kat up to preach. And Kat, you're just gonna please, we're just so longing yes. to hear what you have yes. to say. Yes, it's gonna be good. It's so important. Yes. Round the earth has quaked before Moved by the sound of his voice Seas that are shaken and still Can be calm and broken for my regard And through it all, through it all my eyes are on you Through it all, through it all in his way yes. Through it all, through it all My eyes are on you And it is well with me Far be it from me not to thrown into the midst of the sea and through it all through it all my eyes are on you through it all through it all it is well yeah, yes. through it all through it all my eyes are on you and it is well with me let go my soul and trust in him the ways and wind still know his name let go my soul and trust in him the waves and wind still know It is 
everyone. I'm so happy and excited to be here tonight. You know, God does love you so much, and I love you too. I also get a lot of emails asking for help. Something wonderful happens when you've connected to heaven and you bring truth from heaven. It opens up your heart about the Father, about yourself, about His plans for you. Well, right now on this day on the earth, He wants you whole. His Word says that He desires above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Isn't it amazing that he adds that part, that there's a requirement for us to prosper? And I know there's so many issues right now in your lives and things that you're going through. Maybe maybe your country is at war. Maybe you're without a home. Maybe you have just faced abuse in your life. You know, God wants you free from all of that, and He has given us something to do that. He has given us the keys to the kingdom. I know the Father has spent many hours with me talking to me about the soul. He actually showed me how He had made our soul and put it together. It's very special. It's wonderful. It's actually beautiful. And most of the times we talk about the soul, it's in the negative. But you know what? God made your soul, and it's powerful, and it's amazing. Your soul is your will. It's what you choose, it's your mind, it's what you think about, and it's your emotions. That's pretty much all of you, isn't it? Well, tonight, we're going to help you be free of anything in your soul that's hindering you, that's causing attack, torment, um, keeping you back from the things of God. It'll even help set you free from unforgiveness or offense. You know, all these are things that open the doors for the enemy to mess with you. And did you, did you know that even hidden wounds or hidden hurts can also leave the door open for the enemy to mess with you? Well, we want to stop that. We want to help you to know that God is for you. He's not against you. And so he has given a way for that to happen. And he showed me the keys to the kingdom. It is about loosing and binding. And, you know, it's offered to everybody out there. If you're born again, child of God, you have the right to be free of any darkness, anything of the enemy in your life. So if you've reached a point where you are desperate to know him, to be free, to live a, joy, a life of joy and victory, that's where he wants you. He put us on this earth to make a difference. You know, we're not just some little people trying to get by and survive. We're supposed to be victorious in this earth. And by your soul being free, that is going to help you in so many ways. I'm going to give you few examples of what I mean. Uh, there was somebody who had a really strong addiction in their life. You know, even that has to do with your soul. Every time you give yourself to something, you give a part of your soul to that thing. And then a part of that is deposited in your soul. That's what makes you think about it. It's what makes you choose it. And then eventually you're going to do it. And so if you, if you give yourself to an addiction that's deposited in your soul, that's what makes you think about it all the time. Even the desire to have that again, it's about your soul. People think it's just your flesh. But you know if you lose that, if you choose to lose that from your soul, and it has to leave because what you loose on earth is loose in heaven. That's what the keys to the kingdom are. Uh, we've known people that face torment uh, a lot of their early years and for 40 years carried that on the inside of themselves. It still affected their life. And you know what? After sharing this message with them, they were able to loose all of that abuse from their soul, even what they faced years ago. And it was taken out by heaven. The Holy Spirit comes and removes it. And it was like it never happened. Isn't that amazing that God, the creator of everything, made us that way? that we could be free by choosing to be free. Now, I will let you know that it will try to come back sometimes, but it will no longer be inside you, pulling you or, 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 or pushing you to do things. Amen? So tonight, we're going to learn how to do this. It's very simple. I'm going to explain simply what it is, but... Before I do that, let me share one other thing that's really just as important. It's about ruling and reigning with Christ. It's about pushing back darkness. You know we're not supposed to tolerate darkness in our life. You know the Word says, I give you power over all the power of the enemy. 
How about that? That means that the enemy should not be allowed to beat us up, to steal our joy and take things from us. But we've allowed him to rule and reign in this world and not use our authority. But in this time on the earth that the Father calls the kingdom age, that's uh, that's being his will being done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, let me tell you, in heaven, they are free of lack. They are free of anything attacking them. They're free in, to joy and live their life in, in joy and in fullness, and that's what he wants for you. So let me tell you something. You open the front door of your home first, and you command all darkness, anything of the enemy, you evict them from your home. You have a right to do that as a believer. You don't have to tolerate him taking over your atmosphere or the atmosphere of where you live, even your neighborhood. This is something that you learn to walk, and this is what he wants us to do. It's part of ruling. You know, when Christ was on this earth, he never tolerated darkness. He was never afraid of the darkness. He actually stood there and said, there's no darkness, there's none of him in me. We can stand as a real believer living a life of victory and not have anything of the enemy in our life. So if you're ready to be free of that, and once you're free of that, we're going to we're gonna bind the love of God, the life of God, the joy of the Lord. You can bind things to your soul also, and then you're going to be filled with God, and your soul will begin to prosper. So I hope you're excited about this. I know you may not know me, but let me tell you, we are all family. I don't care what nation you're from. I don't care what position you're in. I don't care what age you're is. In heaven, we are a family. We need to learn to love like that family in heaven does. Even though they don't have jobs or they don't have to make money or, or make a living in heaven, they have events going on all the time. Everybody wants to help support them. They want to be a part of what they're doing. The body of Christ needs to learn to lay down their differences and love. Don't you know we're supposed to let the world know us by what? By our love for each other? Well, it's about time the body of Christ started doing that and stopped fighting. You know, in heaven, there's no denominations. I'm sorry if you're expecting that. We are a family. We all enjoy our life together. And right now on this earth, it's so important that we work together for this move of God that's about to touch this earth. It's going to shake this earth and stun people with the power of God that's going to be demonstrated. And you need to be a part of it. He wants you to be a part. You are not insignificant to the Father. He has a plan for your life. He wrote on a scroll. It's in heaven. Every day of your life, He wrote for joy, for victory on this earth. It's about time we started taking authority and pushing back darkness. So I want you to know He wants you to be a part. So in just in a few minutes, we're going to go back over here and we're going to lead you into these declarations and you have to choose with your will. Really search your heart right now for anything you know that you want to be rid of. It doesn't matter really what it is, if it's poverty, lack, offense, unbelief, you know, fear, anything in your life, any addiction, anything that, that's not of God, anything that doesn't keep the image of God, you need to loose all that from your soul and then you will be free. Okay. okay. Take time. Take okay. as much time as you need. All right. Really I will take time. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited about people yeah. being free. We've done this with whole congregations. And let me tell you, things ran out of people. Things were broken off of people. Things they've been battling with their whole life. They were free immediately. This is a time on earth that things are going to be accelerated. Your blessings, intercessions being accelerated. And this is deliverance. It's being accelerated by the Father. Because you know what? He doesn't have six months for us to go through counseling to be well. He wants us to start operating in the keys of the kingdom. He wants us to understand who he is and who you are. You are a child in the most high God. You lived in him before you came to this earth. He had a purpose for you. The enemy from the time you were born, he targeted you to pull you down, to steal things from you, to steal the image that God made you in. He wants you totally free from anything that the enemy has brought to you or you have even taken or gone after from him. I want you to know that we're supposed to feel ourselves with God. And every time you love somebody, you are blessing heaven. You're, you're reaping rewards in heaven for yourself. It's going to make your life happier on this earth. You know, God put us here for a purpose. We're, we are a believer. We believe in the blood of Jesus Christ. It is the only way to heaven. But I want you to know that even as someone is dying, Christ can reach them. If you have prayed and declared over their life, you know what the word says? If you abide in him and his word abides in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. You can make a stand for your family members and for those that you love like family. The word says you and your household shall be saved. It doesn't say maybe. You need to understand that 
power has been put in your mouth. The power of life and death is in your tongue. If you don't like who you are, start saying things differently about yourself. Get up in the morning and thank God that you're alive, that you're here to make a difference. You need to declare and decree over the day so that the enemy doesn't come in and try to make that happen for you. You know that you can even ask for grace for abundant life. The word says, come before the throne of grace to find grace for help in time of need. This is also something important for you to have that'll help change your life. In the morning, when you wake up, before you get out of your bed, this is what the Father said to me. If you will look up to heaven and say, Father, I ask for and receive grace for this day. He will download into you fuel from heaven for abundant life. You won't respond the same. You won't react the same. It'll be hard for you to be pulled into fear or anything like that. It's like you're filled with what you need for that day. Only heaven knows what you need. And this offer from the throne of grace. You know, the word says that God filled his son with with that grace while he was a child on the earth and it helped him through his whole life. Well, he wants you to know that Jesus was sent that so we could have life and have it what? More abundantly. That means we should have abundant life. And you know what? You can ask for it every day of your life. It changed me. My family noticed. My staff noticed. So I taught them how to do that. I actually have a sign on my door saying, did you ask for grace? So please remember this. Every morning you ask for that grace and he will fill you with life and you'll be surprised how much it affects you. And so now we're going to go ahead and um, proceed with being free. Your soul is amazing. I'm going to explain it to you so you understand how your soul operates. Your will is in the center of your soul. It's like this beautiful column that God wrote beautiful things on. And up through that, that will is your mind. Your mind is all connected. It's all connected. And off of this, this column that is your will are layers of your soul. Your soul has layers in it. And in between all these layers, deposits are made. And you get to choose, unless of course you're a child, you choose what goes in there. Every word you speak yourself goes in your own soul, even words you speak to other people. What you watch with your eyes is deposited in your soul. What you listen to with your ears is put in your soul. So maybe you understand why you're having some issues in your life. Maybe we need to change what we're allowing. And the word says, guard your heart. That is the core of your being for out of it flows the issues of life. So your soul is precious. It's beautiful. And actually when you're born again and you give yourself to Jesus, you give him a layer of your soul. Every layer of your soul looks like a transparent image of you. And when that happens at that moment, he takes that layer of your soul that is you and he seats it in heavenly places. That's how that happens. How about that? You have a representation of yourself already seated in heaven. So he wants you to know that, that things, when you get a commission given to you on the earth, your layer of your soul is brought into the commissioning throne room. And as you're placing, a, he's placing a mantle on you down here, it's being placed on that layer of your soul. Your soul is precious. You right now today going to learn how to loose all darkness. So you need to really get together in your mind what you want loosed from your soul. And let me tell you, your will can override your flesh. Even if you think it's impossible to forgive people or to ask for, you know, unforgiveness to be loose from you or ask for offense to be loose from you, you can choose with your will to say those words and God will loose it from your soul. This is going to be an amazing moment for millions of people around this world. Anybody who watches this later, this is something God the Father is giving you, not just to be free now, but anytime somebody verbally attacks you or something happens in your life, you can turn right around and choose with your will to loose it and immediately. And it's like it was never there. It's amazing. I know I prayed with Wendy myself for this to happen and it has helped to change her life and help her. I myself have had to do this many times in my own life when I've been under attack or things have happened to us. And we at one time in our own, own, own organization had someone who was on our board that tried to steal everything from us. We know what that's like to be attacked by people that you love and care about. You know what? We've loosed all that. We, we have no um, offense against that person. We're still praying for them. God wants you free. So right now, Wendy and I, we're going to go over here. We're going to help pray for you to be free in your soul. So just get ready. Amen. Yes, Father, thank you. Okay, Kat, now use me as an example. Okay. All right? Okay. Yes, I will. Because, yeah, yeah, I've used now. So, you know, for me, I can feel the anointing. Can you feel the anointing? Yes, I, I can. can. <laughs> it's I all can. over right here. It's right here. Okay. 
after for me to be married for 27 years yes. and to know Rory since he was 18 and I was 22, okay, and then be abandoned like that yes. and still and love him. Do, mm -hmm. do you understand? I do understand. Okay, and then you said to me, and we do, you can yes. loose the pain yes. from your soul. Kat said, yes. you can just loose it, can the pain from your soul. soul. And, and I choose thought, it. And I thought, <laughs> oh, Kat, you know, we were on the phone, uh, you know. And, and I did, and, and I have I felt the effects, but I want you to do that with me today, yes, okay. okay? And then any of you who need, who are in a position like me, or yes. in a position of abuse or addiction, or as Kat said, of unforgiveness, or there's just stuff, you yes. know, like you were yes. saying. Yes, and whenever I ask her to lose certain things from I'll her be, soul. I'll be testimony A. Yes, <laughs> she'll be testimony A. <laughs> And, and, and actually, when I'm done doing this with her, we're going to turn right around and do it with you, okay? Yes, so you yes, can have a yes. demonstration of what I'm talking about. Yes. This is something that you choose yes. with your will. Yes. So, Wendy, yes. I know you're hurting. I yes. know you're in pain. Yes. I know there is suffering. Oh. And I know it's real. It's yeah. real. And I'm you're not, experiencing you see, I know it. You. Can because I just say something? <laughs> yes. I, Kat is not just saying these things. I know. She knows. She's not lip servicing. No, She's I'm lived not. a lot of things. All I right, have. Just so you know. Yes, I've experienced this okay? myself. So, so you can be free. You choose as an act of your will. Okay, now it it's seems a little bit impossible yes. to me with all that that yes the pain. Okay, yes. of the rejection that I know I can be free that much. Yes. But no, you, you can are, be completely. I'm just being free. honest. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, all right. You can be completely free because oh, this is the either. Father's will for us. He wants our soul whole. He says he wants our soul okay, to prosper. Let me ask you something. And this is the thing. But let me you, ask you something else. All right. <laughs> Father. Yes. Okay. He saw from the beginning. He saw when yes, I got he married. Did. He saw us create this yes, ministry. That's he right. knew who he was going to choose with his yes, will. Yes, he did. He did. How does that happen? He did. Everyone oh. has a will. We it's were not will. made as robots. He, he cannot, it will not control and us. we can't override someone no, else's will. No, we cannot will. override someone's will. We can no. declare and decree things over them. I know. And we you can still care for them. But th we're talking about your soul right now. I we're know. talking about what you need, what you want. I know. And this is, it's, it's very simple. You are not the one who's taking it out. You're the one who's saying, I don't want it, and you're loosing it from yes, your soul. Absolutely. Heaven will come and take it out of you, okay? Amen. So you, it's a step of faith like everything else. You're believing what the Father says, the keys of the kingdom, what you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So Wendy, <laughs> go ahead and declare and say, Father. Father. I choose. I choose. As an act of my will. As an act of my will. To loose. To loose. All the pain. All the pain. All the rejection. All the rejection. All the abandonment. All the abandonment. All of the fear. All of the fear. And any of you who have this, you yes, do this too. Yes. All, all of, of the, the hurt. All of the hurt. Any concerns. Any concerns. Right now. Right now. I choose. I choose. To loose it. To loose it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I thank you, heaven. I thank you, heaven. For removing it from for me. For removing it completely, from me. Completely. Completely. Totally. Totally. Utterly. Utterly. That I can be whole. That I can be whole. I receive it. I receive it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now see, right now, I can feel things being pulled out of you. Jesus. I can see stuff leaving oh. you. The Holy Spirit actually comes oh. in and removes it from your soul. And I, this is an awesome deep work that he's doing on anyone uh, out there that you need stuff loose from your soul right uh, now. You just say, Father, I choose with my will to loose that addiction, to loose that uh, abuse. Even if it was from a child right now, I choose that I do not want it in my soul. No, I loose any darkness, any hate, any unforgiveness right now. I choose with my own will to loose it in Jesus' name. And right now, all over the world, you can even lose lack. You can lose poverty, lose offense from your soul. You just, choose, just choose with your will them, you tell in them Jesus' what name. So that yeah, they you can say, find I it. choose as an act of my will right now that I no longer want this bondage in my life. I choose to loose all the fear, all the hate, all the anger, all the unbelief, any fear, any addiction right now. I choose to loose you from my soul. I choose to loose offense. I loose a 
abuse. I lose any images that were put in me from mm -hmm. my childhood on up that I'll be free. I choose to loose it right now. Yeah. In Jesus' name, I thank you, this heaven, for bringing it out of me from heaven. In Jesus' name. This pornography, someone yes. that they need to Yes, you Father, I choose to loose all the pornographic what? images. Yes, I choose Father. to loose all of the, any addictions, Father, right now. I choose with my will. I no longer want these images in me. I loose them from my soul in Jesus' name, and I loose homosexuality from yes. my soul right now. Yes. I don't want yes. to do that anymore. It's not normal. It's not the image of God. I want what you have for me, Father. So right now, I choose to loose it right now, and we evict you, darkness, from those people's souls right now. You will no longer control them. You have no right to remain in them. Heaven is taking you out right now. This is your day, and it is gone and over. You will no longer control the people of God in this world. You have no right or authority. We have power over you, over all the power of the enemy, and, and the body of Christ is going to stand up right now and be who we're called to be. We rule and reign with Christ in this world. We will no longer take your addictions, your hate, your offense, your spiritual unclean spirits. Get out of those people right now. Your spirits of murder, of hate, of anguish, of abuse. Be free. Be free. Be free in Jesus' name. I declare from heaven they are now removing it from you. Say, I receive it in Jesus' name. I break any soul ties with those who've abused me, for those who've misused Ooh, me right now. I tie. break that soul tie. You say it with your words. I choose I break to break that soul tie. tie. No name longer hold Jesus. me to Amen. that abuse, to that fear, to that rejection, Father. to that hate. It's broken in Jesus' name because you have the keys to the kingdom. They're offered you. Jesus said what we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This is a heaven thing. You don't have to loose it from yourself. You just have to choose to have it loosed. Heaven is going to deal with the rest of it. And Father, I thank you right now that everywhere people are being set free right now from this word. This comes from you, Father, because you love That's us. Right. Because your word says you desire above all things that we That's prosper right. and we walk thank in health you, even as our soul thank prospers, you, Father. Thank and we you, have Father. loosed all the grief and all the darkness over the years, even if we caused it ourselves, Father. Your mercy is so far reaching. And God, right now I declare that your people are free, yeah. that they do have authority. I thank you for downloading yes. revelation into them right now Amen. about you, about Amen. who they really Amen. are that you Amen. have. They have your DNA. They have a, a deposit of the anointing that Christ gave us according to 1 John 2, 27. Then he said, we rule and reign with him, Father. We're going to take authority over the atmosphere around us, Father. Amen. We're going to declare and decree words of life from our words. Uh, comes rivers of living water into people, God. Help us to love one another. Help us to help one another, Father. And right now, we are now going to do the second half of this, God. We are now going to bind the things uh, that you have for us to our yes, soul. And everybody out there say this. I choose as an act of my will. I choose as an act of my to will. To bind the love of God to my soul. To bind the love of God to my soul. Now, these are going to come in waves. I just felt the first one. I choose to bind the life of God to my soul. I choose to bind the life of God to my soul. There's another way I feel it. <laughs> I choose to bind the presence of God to my I soul. I choose to bind the presence of God to my soul. I choose to bind the joy of the Lord to my soul. I choose to bind the joy of the Lord to my soul. And I choose with my will. And I choose with my will. To bind the purposes and plans of God to well, my soul. To bind the purposes and plans of God to my soul. I receive it. <laughs> I receive, I receive it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And no one or nothing can and take no this one from or me. Nothing can take this from me. I hope you all are <laughs> praying the same as I'm praying. And now I declare. And now I declare. And I decree. And I decree. That my soul is whole. That my soul is whole. And that you desire. Whole. And that you desire above all things, above all things, that Father, I prosper, that I prosper, and be in health, and be in health, even as my soul prospers, even as my soul prospers. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. That this day, that this day, my soul prospers. My soul. I thank you for showing me. I thank you for showing me how to receive your love. How to receive your love and fill myself with you. And fill myself with you. And speak words of life. And speak words of life. And declare and decree. And de 
<laughs> decreed, clear the, and decreed. The things you think about me. The things you think about me. Because I belong oh, to you. Because I belong to you. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much anointing. Father God, I thank you for blessing all oh, those who are watching, God. Yes, That they Father. are free and anyone who sees this later, oh, God. This is something the they can use Father. for the rest of their life. Anytime someone attacks you with words wow. or you're attacked in any way, you can turn right around Whoa. and choose to loose it immediately <laughs> from your soul. I would do Whoa. it on a weekly Whoa. basis at least, but you can stay free oh. and be free. Amen. Oh. Thank you, Father, thank you, Father, for giving us the keys to thank the kingdom. Thank you, Father. Now don't stop preaching. Yes, go I back, thank you. Go back and, I thank and you for our love. Preach on the kingdom, mate. Yes. Preach on whatever. And now, yeah, the Lord I want to. I want to share now what the Father has to say. He has a timeline oh. in heaven. Okay, He goes by His timeline. He doesn't go by man's. Thank God He doesn't go by the Mayans, or we'd all be gone by now. But I want you to know that in His throne room, He has a timeline, and there is something marked on it right now for today. It's called the Kingdom Age. We are not living in the perilous times. The enemy wants you to believe that. He wants you to look at the doom and gloom and believe this is the end. But I want you to know the earth is crying out, according to Romans 8, for the manifested sons and daughters to stand up and make a difference in this world, to rule and reign with Christ. And you need to know that he chose you. If you're a believer, then you have a part in all of this. This is not about one person being in the spotlight anymore. God's using groups of people. He's using teams. We, we need each other. You know, I have a team that I depend on that helps me to do what I'm doing. And you know what? He's even going to use teams of pastors and churches. Isn't that awesome? This is the time. Let me tell you, according to Matthew, this is what we've all been declaring. Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. You know, he's, he's, that is what he's talking about right now. That's the time we're living in. You're hearing more and more people say, on earth as it is in heaven. Well, let me know. I know what it is in heaven. I know the will of God in heaven. They live free. They live in joy. They live in prosperity. Okay. There's no darkness that can enter into their lives. They have no fear of what's going to happen to them because they're in him. They live in him. You know, on this earth, you can live in him. We receive him. You have to invite him into your life to have him. Then you invite the Holy Spirit to come and consume you. You know what? This is a special time on earth because it's different from all the ages in the past. This is the time when we're going to let this world actively see the kingdom of heaven alive in our lives. And you know that the host of heaven, the, the heaven's armies are pouring down by the millions into the atmosphere around this earth. They wait on our words. What we declare and decree, they are released to go and perform those things. So you need to know that we're not alone on this earth at this time. W what do you think the host are going to do? They don't have to defend heaven anymore anymore. They're sent here for us. Your guardian angels are sent here for you. You need to invite the host of heaven to be a part of this kingdom age in your life, okay? I am not talking about angel worship, okay? They wouldn't let you do that anyway. I'm talking about you need to recognize and just thank them for being here for you. You know what? That's important. Heaven is about to be uh, actually unveiled. And many people around this world for the first time will see angelic beings in the air helping to do miracles with the believers. This is a time when Jesus said we would do greater works than, than he did on the earth. And I'll let you know, this is a time to be excited. Don't look at just the doom and gloom and think that's where it is. The Father says you have to see, you have to see beyond your nose. For those who have eyes to see, you need to see. And Father, right now I am part to all those who hunger to have their eyes open. I ask you to open their eyes that they'll see the angels around them, God, that they'll know there's more who are for us than those who are against us. So I declare and decree that this is his time to do his will on earth as it is in heaven. It's an amazing time to be alive. Nobody is insignificant. He loves all of you. He wants you free. He wants you to know him. You know, you can create a habitation for heaven in your own home. You can have something called an encounter room. I don't care if it's just a place in your home. Go there and spend a few minutes with him. Thank him for choosing you to be a part of this. And I want you to know that God never chooses the qualified. He qualifies the chosen. And you can choose to be chosen by accepting it with your will. And Father, I declare your will over their lives, that they won't miss anything you have for them right now in this time, God. And I ask you to give them revelation, catch them up, give them encounters yourself, Father. You are so hungry to be with your children, and you love them, and I love them, and Wendy loves them. 
I thank you, God, for establishing places and people on this earth that truly show your love, but will share the whole truth, Father. We need to know the whole truth so we can be free and stay free. And I, I, I let you know right now, you have authority over the enemy. Don't let him in the atmosphere of your home. Everywhere you go, you can release the God that's on the inside of you, release the anointing that abides in you. You know what it does? It burns the enemy. He doesn't like it when you use the anointing. Christ walked in it. It was in, the, in his garment. When the woman touched the hem of his garment, the disciples released it in the handkerchiefs and aprons and laid it on people and they were healed. You know why? Because the anointing breaks the yoke. And all this time, since you were a believer, you had a deposit of that put in you that Jesus operated in. You just need to, you know, if, I know everybody needs to hear God for yourself. So find time alone and say, God, I want you to confirm this to me. I thank you for loving me. I thank you for sending truth around this world, God, that there's going to be voices that will stand for holiness and for freedom, but share the supernatural because the day you became a believer, you became supernatural on the inside. I know God has great hope for you. He has plans for you. You need to know that you are not forgotten, not by your loved ones in heaven, not by the cloud of witnesses, not by the host of heaven. Every one of them are for you. I thank you, God, for just downloading your love. Let waves of love in your presence sweep through their home, God. And if they're in a place that they don't own, God, you teach them to release the anointing into everything there, and they can tell the enemy, we don't war against the people. We take authority over the power of the enemy controlling the people. If you're in a place that is not your own and there's a lot of darkness around you and it's vexing your soul, you need to get in a place by yourself and say, Father, I take authority over all the darkness that is here. And I say, you will not operate in my presence. I I will not tolerate you being in my presence. We need to stop tolerating uh, the enemy attacking us, sickness in our bodies. You tell your sickness, I'm not tolerating you in my body right now, Father. I just release the anointing and everyone watching God to drive out every sickness, every disease, every infirmity. We say you will not attack people. You will not attack the body of Christ. It is ending in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for reminding them who they are. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching them the things of God, for bringing revelation to their lives. I thank you, Father, for loving them. I thank you for trusting me. It is an honor to love you on behalf of the Father and on behalf of heaven. And I thank you for allowing me to share this day with you truths that will change you forever. That anytime you're attacked by anybody, you lose that. Don't hold it in your soul. Don't let things remain in your soul because it'll build a stronghold. You choose to be free. You choose to stay free. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Father, we just thank, thank you, Father. you. Father, we just thank you. Now, you heard I was sitting over there. Whew. Whew. I can feel the anointing here. Oh. And I heard when, when you released some of that, when you yes. spoke, I can hear, I know, okay? So guys, just, we will replay this. It yes. will be on demand, but I know the power. I, you, you know too, okay? There is power that Kat released. There is power. There is power that can release from here at the altar. Yes. Power to, to just change lives. Power I to set free. I can free. feel. I know. <laughs> power oh, to deliver. Power. The power. Even when you think it's been impossible to be delivered, it's impossible to be set free. He says it's a lie. It's not impossible because nothing is impossible. All no. things are possible with yes. me. Yes. Um, bro, ha, 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 ha. For I am your father. Who did he? Yes, thank you, Father. Who did he? Yes, thank you, Father. Yes, thank you, Father. Yes, thank you, Father. Father, we release the joy. Yes, Father. We release your joy, Father. Yes, Release your joy, Father. Yes, Father. Release, your joy, Father. Your fun, release, Father. Your release fun. Release oh, fun yes. as a weapon. <laughs> release fun as a weapon, Oh, cat. fun? The difference oh, in the kingdom whoa. age is love has always been a weapon with God. But let me tell you, the new <laughs> weapon you. is fun. And you need to know that the Father yeah. wants you to have fun. <laughs> it's what they do in heaven. If it's going to be Religious. on earth as it is in heaven, Amen. then you have to have fun as a part Amen. of your life. Father, you know the enemy can't touch fun, you. Father. He can't mess with you when you're having fun like a little child. Ooh. I know it's fun to be in his presence, but he means fun like a child. You need to laugh. It's like a medicine. <laughs> not only does it bring healing, it actually wards off the enemy. He does not want you to laugh. And I can tell you in some of my lowest times, I just stood up and laughed and with the 
Spirit of God, I laugh and the enemy fled. You need to know, I already told Jesus. you, that it, I, I know you think, well, it's impossible. I don't have this or I can't go there. Don't look at what your ability is. He is unlimited on your behalf. So you ask him, Father, I ask for and receive fun right now in my life and not just today. I want it to become a lifestyle for me. So I thank you for making that possible. And I thank you in advance. I receive it in Jesus name. Amen. Fun is going to be a weapon in this time on the earth and it will shock this world when they see the body of Christ Amen. standing up, living free, being free, creating and inventing new things that are being sent from heaven and having fun the whole time they're doing it. We will be the radical people on this earth, okay? We're supposed to be Thank the radical Father. people on this earth. We're supposed to be passionate about Him Thank and passionate Father. about people, but walk free of all darkness. God is sending brand new ideas. There's a place in heaven called the Idea Zone. Right now, I want you to look up to heaven and say, Father, Father. I ask for and receive witty Please. ideas and inventions <laughs> from heaven so that I can put them in the marketplace. I want you to know God wants new entrepreneurs in the body. Of Christ. And he said he saved some of the best inventions and the best creations. And he said a That's lot right. of the wealth of the That's wicked right. is going to be spent on that stuff that you create and put in That's the marketplace. Right. He's going it. to we anoint it. it. He's going to appoint it and the things it. that they can't make. And when you find something you can't make, they want that. The world is going to go to the marketplace and buy that stuff. So just get ready for new things. We're going to have new fashions. We're going to have, you know why? Because we are adapting to heaven. They have the most amazing cutting edge fashion styles in heaven, hairstyles in heaven, new new ways to have entertainment are coming to the earth that the whole family can enjoy. You know, instead of, you know, uh, being upset about what's out there, start calling it into this earth. Your words have power. Everything the Father did, He spoke with His mouth. And you know what? We're supposed to create like Him. We can't make people and things, but you can change the atmosphere. You can pull things down from heaven to this earth. You choose Amen. to do it. If you want the earth to be different, then you live different starting today. <laughs> Amen. And make sure you take time to laugh. The Holy Spirit says this, you have to pray and play if you want it to be on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Can we just tell a father how much we love him? You, you, oh, you yes. Oh, Fa I, oh, Father, I want you to know I you. adore you. I am so in love with you, you that you that revealed well, yourself to us, you Father, that him. you sent your son yes. who was the word and he took oh, on flesh. God. And there wasn't anything that was the made that wasn't strong. made by him, God. I know that he would step inside of you and you would go God. somewhere and you would speak and he would step out and he would make it. And yet he, in all that he had with you, he chose to come and die here for all those yeah. that he had actually made to this world. He loves this world. He doesn't hate this world. He wants this world to rejoice and know him. So daddy, I want you to know yeah. that I love you. Wow. And oh, my, my life gosh. is in you. <laughs> and I have had to lay down my life and everything to do this. I may not have died to go to heaven, Father, but I die every day to live for you. And I want you to know that you have those that love you and who will stand for righteousness and who will call heaven down to this earth. I thank you, God, for trusting us with your children. God, that you would see our hearts, that we would have your heart. God, I pray that they will have your heart and they will pursue a relationship with you. That's what your son wants. That's why he came, that you can know, Daddy, you can know so the beautiful. father. You can know him now before you go to heaven. You need Daddy, to know so he beautiful. wants this. He wants this relationship with you. Daddy, and so everybody so would just let's thank him. God, we thank you for your love. You're we so thank beautiful. you for sending us to this earth. We thank Daddy, you for trusting Daddy, us with so each other, beautiful. that we can love father that we need to stop wrestling You're against so the beautiful. flesh and bless those, Father. Bless those even that curse us, so God, beautiful. because when we do that, it terrifies the enemy. You're the enemy so wants beautiful. you to fight back. When you learn how to bless those that are cursing you, it, so all of beautiful. heaven celebrates and they shout and laugh because you're acting like they are in heaven. I want you to know that he says to bless those that curse you and pray for those who You're despitefully so use you because what that does is it pulls the enemy away from the person You're doing so it. It opens up them for the Father to pursue them. So if you want to be dangerous, so okay, he wants you dangerous against hell. I don't care if you're 99. I don't care if you're six years old. God made you to be different in this earth and to love for him. And so we thank you, Daddy.
You're that so you cute. saw a time on the earth when your children would stand up and begin to manifest your presence, Beautiful. your likeness, your power, and your plans until the Beautiful. glory covers us earth like the waters cover the sea. You are living in that time so right now. Do not anymore say he doesn't care, that he's here to destroy. This is not his time for wrath. This is his time for restoration. This is his time to set you free from debt. This is his time to empower you to rule and reign with Christ. Be excited that he trusted. Yes, and you so know what? Beautiful. He picked your Daddy. time. He picked your time right. when your birth would take place he on this like earth. You didn't choose that. That's right. He did. Mm -hmm. He does not make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And no matter who your earthly mother and father is, your heavenly mm -hmm. daddy is for you and he mm -hmm. loves you. And we're going to pray for all of you. Because Father God, beautiful. draw them into your heart, Father, that they know you like we know beautiful. you. And I thank you, God, that we will rejoice and celebrate with heaven this day, that this message beautiful. has gone around the world, yeah. God. And right. I personally ask you to bless, bless, bless God TV. It's got your name Father. on it. It's That's got right. your purposes in Father's it, God. Name. This is your plan. This is a divine yeah. appointment right now. You have a divine encounter God, with we heaven in this it. moment. We receive it. Pray yes. God you thank you. Please. Yes. Pat, I thank you, Father, that it. you're going to multiply. You're going to bless and explode God TV around this world. You told me yourself that you had a divine purpose for God TV to watch and to mark and to, to, and to uh, show this move of God coming on the earth. That everywhere it happens, he's going to make sure that they're there, God, because their heart is your heart. They want what you want, God, and they're going to make sure the world sees these miraculous things happen. Your signs and wonders happening, God, because they won't have their own agenda. They have your agenda. And because of that, I ask you to open up the gates of heaven and pour into them from the treasuries of heaven, God. Multiply millions of dollars, God. They'll never have a lack. They'll never have a need. They'll just have to plan what to do with this money, God. And whatever they plan and declare, you're going to make sure they get to do because they hear you and they have your heart. And Father, I declare and decree this, Father. Father, as your child in the, in the authority that you have given me in this world, I declare that, that they will only prosper from this moment forward, only prosperity, only prosperity, only blessings, only good news, only greatness in the earth. God, they won't escape being great because they're going to do your will on earth as it is in heaven. And I thank you, God, for blessing them abundantly, Father. And I thank you for giving Wendy as a friend, Father, who knows you like I know you. And I, I I ask, Father, that people begin to trust one another and know each other by the Spirit and not by the flesh. Don't judge by the flesh. God knows the heart of those. He knows that they're hurting. So please choose love. Amen? And make sure to celebrate Him and thank Him. You know, it says we enter into his courts with thanksgiving and praise. Make sure you take time today and tomorrow and every day to thank him for your life and thank him for the things he wants for you. Amen. And I thank you, God, for all that you have allowed to happen this day. <laughs> thank Amen. you, Father. Amen. 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 And now, Pablo, will you just sing Our Father who is in heaven? Yes. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Oh, ah, oh, ah, for that. Is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever? Oh, 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 amen. For oh, thy is the key. Is 
words that can't know and the power and the glory for There's a cost to this life. There's been a cost to my life. With the Father, there's a cost for yes. many of you out there. Yes, thank you. Father. But our great pearl of great price is Him, yes. is the Father. And we love Him. Thank you, Daddy. very difficult for me, but I want people to know just how wonderful God TV is. I couldn't have survived the last three years after an accident or an incident that happened to me without the encouragement and the blessing and the nurturing from the God TV channel. I came here, met by an angel, had the broken leg in two places healed. The second time I came in April with the Tongat revival, came, had a dream and got my healing here. All the curses, literally everything, has just broken up. And I just want to thank God TV so much because it's given me a purpose and, um, and focus now. And I'm just, I know where my life's going. I, I've learned how to hear God's voice and I now have a path and I know who I am. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for lifting us up to Father God in that lovely way that you have. I thank Warren Reddy for bringing God TV in. Just thank you. I just want to say thank you very much. I just want to say thank you, God TV. Forgive my stumbling words, but I do love God TV, and I'd like you to help them the way they should be helped. They deserve it. They're wonderful, wonderful people. Thank you.